it is Friday and I just got to work. It is 7.42 and I was walking by my coworker's room and she's like, I don't think I've ever been here before you and it's really weird and I was like, I know. But I stopped at Walmart this morning because Walmart typically has like seasonal pencils in with like their decor items. I could not find them this year and I'm super bummed because I always love <laughs> Hi. Hi! Sorry, my co-teacher and I were catching up. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, I stopped at Walmart. They didn't have the pencils, and I was super bummed about that because I love giving pencils to my kids, but I did get a few other goodies. So I think Monday I'm gonna come in early and decorate my classroom for Halloween. I always hated Halloween as a kid, but for some reason, like now as a teacher, I love it. This handle keeps falling forward. So I got a new door sign because the one that I have up apparently says hello sunshine and as much as I love sunshine we are heading into the fall season got this little garland and then I got some window clings because kids always love those so I got this one one with bats one with a witch and then I got this these little pom-poms which I'm gonna hang from the main whiteboard so the middle one right there and that's all I've got. I am gonna try to hop on Amazon today and see if there's any like bulk Halloween pencils because I am super, super sad that they didn't have those this year. I love giving pencils to my kids because they're super cheap. It was like a dollar for a pack of like 10 to 12. So I would need to get eight or nine packs to match the number of students that I have, but the kids loved it and I just really liked it. So I'm really sad, but I still need to eat breakfast. I have about a half hour until I have to go get my kids need to read some emails we're scheduling mea and like standardized tests and all that stuff i keep forgetting that i am team leader and i'm like why am i being copied on all of these emails <laughs> duh tina because you are a team leader along with your co-teacher and you have decisions to make so i'm gonna make sure that all of that is up to date hello friends so i just real quickly wanted to show you an sel kind of check-in that i do with my students every friday so we used to do this every morning one similar not this one exactly this is only our friday one this is something that we do every friday and it's just a weekly reflection so that my students can reflect on the week and set goals for the next week i am working on finding a way to remind them on mondays what their goal was there it's like a little square printout or something that they just keep with them um just something we're also still working on how to correctly respond to these questions so i'm going to turn you around and show you what I do with them. So they fill these out. I do require complete sentences and capital letters and restating and all of that. If they don't do that, I make them do it again. Uh, so I will show you what they work on. So first things first is our morning slide. So when they come in, this will be on the board. It lets them know what to do. Um, so it just tells them to put their take home folder in their mailbox. They go to Google Classroom, our homeroom Google Classroom, complete sentences, blah, blah, blah. They can have their breakfast while they are working. And then after they are done typing or done eating, they will type. And then if we don't have anything like super important, like yesterday, they couldn't do a book swap down the library because the librarian was not here. Um, things like that. So if we have something going on, like if we have a half day, I'll put that over here. Um, but today we don't have anything. So their kindness challenge for this week is to leave a kind, positive note for someone in need. So hopefully they are doing that. Their weekly reflection um, is just a Google form. It says, good morning, awesome kiddo. How are you doing today? It asks them for their name. And then on a scale, how are you feeling today? And this one is, what do you need from your teacher? So I do go through and check these and try to do the best that I can at making sure that I meet their needs. So far, I've gotten a lot of high fives, a lot of hugs, a lot of fist bumps. Mostly nothing I'm good um, and nothing, actually that's not true. I did get a reminder of how awesome I am last week from a student, uh, but I tell that student every day because I know deep down inside that they need that. So they don't have to tell me because I already know. On the scale of one to five, so how hard did you try this week? Uh, how well did you follow directions? How kind were you to yourself? How kind were you to others? And then these are the ones that they struggle with because they just want to put one answer, such as, um, I've gotten that one a lot. Uh, I've gotten IDK. I've gotten I don't know. And then I've gotten one word answers. So this week, I'm really focusing on how to pull more out of them. So it asks them, what is one thing you learned this week? And a lot of them are just putting math. And I'm like, that's great. But I want to know, what about math? Are you learning how to round? Are you learning place value? Are you learning fractions? Tell me, you need to be specific, you need to elaborate. What's your favorite part of this week? What is one goal you want to set for yourself this week? And anything else you want to tell us? I let them know that this one does not have to be academic related, um, but one goal has to be school related and it's not get better at soccer at recess. It has to be 
related to a classroom activity. And then same thing with one thing you learned. I tell them that if they want to include something like outside of school, they absolutely can, but they do have to have something academic for this one and this one. And then the last question is optional and it's just anything else you want to tell us. Sometimes they'll tell me a funny joke. Sometimes they'll tell me like about a soccer game coming up or something like that. But this is what I do with them every Friday. So after they're done with the form throughout the day, I will run those off front and back. So they print front and back. Um, I just set it to narrow margins and I just put little notes on it and send it home. I will put like smiley faces. I will write back to them. I will say like, wow, that sounds fun. Or I remember learning that, have a great weekend. If they put that they weren't very kind to themselves, I just put a really sweet note that like you deserve all the kindness in the world. Please be kinder to yourself. Um, I will sometimes tell them like, I'm so happy you're here, things like that. So it's just a little thing. And then I send it home. One thing that I learned that they don't teach you in like teacher prep school uh, is how to actually teach. Um, they don't teach you the importance of modeling. They do not teach you that kind of stuff. They teach you like you do, I do, we do. And that's great. Or you do, we do, I do. That's how it goes. No, I do, we do, you do. My goodness, Tina. They teach you those kinds of things, but they don't sit and teach you like you literally have to walk them through step by step literally everything how to get a pencil how to take a bin out of a cabinet how to put the bin back they don't teach you those things so if you are a teacher if you are studying to become a teacher please understand the importance of basically treating them like kindergartners and not in a demeaning like condescending way they don't know what you want they don't read your mind so telling them like you get your pencil this way does nothing you need to show them they need to practice over and over and over and I feel like my first three or four years of teaching would have been so much better if I understood that I don't know why it really clicked this year like every year I've modeled more and more but for some reason this year it clicked and I literally walk them through every step clearly I haven't moved in a while so number one takeaway something I wish they taught in school model the crap out of everything. Pretend they're from another world and you have to show them literally everything. I just talked to a camera all morning. <laughs> I love our team. Like they walk in on me vlogging and they're just like, it's another day in Tina's room. Um, in all seriousness though, completely switching gears. I shared a post on Instagram yesterday. If you're not following me, be sure to follow me. Um, and I shared a post on Instagram yesterday that said 570,000 teachers have left public education since the pandemic. I'm not surprised. Um, I was almost one of those. Uh, so I don't know if I'd ever shared this, but from about October until I applied for my current position that I have now in December, I was actively seeking positions outside of the classroom. Granted, I worked in the most toxic work environment a person can imagine and I, I didn't i mean i knew adult bullies existed but it's kind of like an abstract thing you're like there's no way that grown adults can be that unkind no 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 it is possible i worked with the most malicious mean people in the world there were four people in that building that made it bearable to go to work um aside from that miserable I was applying for positions outside of teaching as soon as I earned my master's in learning and technology because I really thought that teaching wasn't for me. And I was so angry at myself now looking back that I let those people cloud my judgment that I wasn't meant to be a teacher. I didn't realize that I was dealing with bullying at the time, didn't realize that it was a toxic, toxic work environment. But teaching was hard before the pandemic. I mean, incredibly difficult. And then add in pandemic regulations and things that changed, you know, we had to do more with less, way less. And I don't blame a single one of those 570,000 teachers from walking away from this job. I was almost one of them. But you guys, all this to say, I am so happy. I love my school. I love my admin. We have the best team I could ever work with. I truly am just so 
blessed and I never say that, but I truly am. I've been through hell, absolute total hell. And I'm just so happy. We are a team, like a true team. We support one another, we help one another. We wanna see each other grow. We are not competitors. And it's just so good to work in a place where there is no competition. So I just wanna say that if you are in a job where you are being manipulated, you are being bullied, you are being micromanaged, there are good teaching positions out there. If you are in a position to look elsewhere, I know tenure is great. I get that. I would be tenured if I didn't leave because I'm back in the district that I would have been tenured in and I'm starting over. Tenure is not worth your mental or emotional health. Your mental and emotional health will eventually affect your physical health. So please know that if you need to switch jobs, it is okay. If you need to switch schools or districts, it is okay. It's okay. No job is worth your mental, emotional, physical health. So all of that, like I said, just to say that, oh my God, I'm so happy. No job is worth that. So please find your tribe, find your support, find your place, find your people. That is all. That's my Friday message. I have to get my kids in four minutes. So I'm just going to relax, drink my water and chill out. I will talk to you guys um, maybe at lunch, if not after school. Hopefully we're gonna have a good day. Don't know what's going on with this hearing, but it's gonna drive me nuts all day. We're gonna have a good day today. I can feel it. It's gonna be a good day. Hello, you guys. So just quick midday update. Such a good day. Such a good day. Uh, so one of my blocks is really strong in the class discussion department. Having class discussions with them is just so fun because like, they're just a dream. They say, oh, I agree with so-and-so, or um, I disagree with so-and-so, or I had one today that said, I agree with so-and-so, but I think this one part a little bit differently. And it's just, it is so cool to see. Like I have not taught them that yet, um, but I just really hype it up when they do it. And it is incredible. So I gave them a class glow note. So what I've been doing this year is we give glow notes to students that are doing really well. And I give a class one because just a little motivation. And I have a class competition going between all of my blocks and they know this and I've told them like at the end of the trimester the class that has the most may earn like a game or some like extra free time or a movie or something like that and I told them that they have their class has the most they now have three my other block has one and the other four classes have zero so when I told them today that they earned another one a couple of them came to me and they're like Miss Mara like I really want to go home and show my parents that we're doing really well can you give us each one and I was like you know what that is an incredible idea so I'm currently reviewing their check-ins. After I'm done with their check-ins, I'm going to write their glow notes. That way I can send them off to their homerooms at the end of the day um, and they can take it home with them. I love that they're proud of themselves and the fact that they wanna go home to show their grown-ups that they're doing an incredible thing makes my teacher heart so happy. And I've told them that today. Like They're one of my strongest groups with discussions. But I have about a half hour until I have to go get them. So I'm gonna work on this and I will talk to you guys after school. I'm starting to get a headache and I don't know why. I had caffeine today. I've had water today and not really sure what exactly is going on, but it's all right. We're gonna nurse myself back to health and I think I'm just gonna keep, keep sipping water and we'll get through this day. Good afternoon, YouTube. Obviously, I am home. It is 4.17 after work. I talked to a couple coworkers. I straightened up my room, went to Walmart for grocery pickup, came home, put the groceries away, straightened up a little bit, and now I'm just chilling on the couch watching the rest of the homework movie that I started yesterday and didn't finish. But today was such a good day. I just, I'm so happy. Like, I have the best students, the best coworkers, and I'm just so happy with this year. That's really all there is to it. We had a great day. My homeroom has pulled it together. They are seeing the effects of doing what you're supposed to be doing the first time you are asked. This afternoon, my homeroom silent read for 12 minutes and they did so well. 
So we played a would you rather game and I just had like this really awkward time to fill before they went off to gym. So I played would you rather with them and I had them like they had to stay quiet. They could talk, but they had to be at a reasonable volume and I would just ask them would you rather questions that I pulled from online and they would switch sides of the room and it was just so fun. Like zero academic relation. I did not make it academic at all because I want to get to know them. So I learned their favorite vegetables and their favorite fruits and why they would rather want to like why they would rather be a dog than a cat and like it was just so fun. They were kids. They had fun. They were laughing and having a good time and I was learning about them and they were learning about each other and it was just it was good. And then I realized that we couldn't do that up until we had to leave for specials because it would have just been too long and they would have gotten out of control. And I was like, you know what? It's nice out. It was like 63-ish when we were doing this. Sunny, not super breezy. So I, my last would you rather, I was like, all right, for this one, you need to listen and you need to be silent. I was like, if you can silently do this without a single word being spoken, we will go through with it. And I was like, would you rather stay inside and play would you rather games or would you rather go outside on the playground? And obviously they all went to would you rather go out and playground and it was so funny because not a word was spoken. So before I took them out, I asked them, I was like, guys, why are we doing this? And they were like, cause it's nice out. And I was like, let's dig a little bit deeper. Like why, what is the true reason for why I am giving you outside time? So they talked about it and they realized like it's because we were doing it like we were doing well. And I said, this was our strongest week yet. Like I want to see the behaviors, these, those positive things like are how we do this. And I explained to them that like, I'm not expecting perfection. I just need you to try. We went outside and it was fun. I played basketball. I was on the swings with them. One of them asked me to play teacher. So we played teacher and it was just such a good time. So I took them straight to gym from the playground. Uh, in gym, they were great for her with the exception of one friend that just could not pull it together. So when we got back up to the classroom, after I picked them up from gym, we did mystery trash and dirtiest wipe. It was just a perfect way to end a great week with great kids. So I'm just, I'm so thrilled. Uh, but for next week, we have testing and we have our fifth graders are going on a bunch of field trips like around town for a program. So we are trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We have like four days um, to fill, like an hour or two, I think it is. So we're thinking like a kickball tournament and then try to come up with like a STEM activity, like a multi-day STEM activity, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but that's kind of where we're at. So this vlog, I can already tell, is going to be longer because I have been very long-winded, very chatty, and that's all right. Some are chattier than others. But because of that, I am going to end this vlog off here. Also because I'm starting to get a migraine. It started to set in at the end of the day. So I'm just going to try to nap it off and call it a night. So as always, thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit subscribe and click that notification bell. That way you don't miss any new videos. And I will see you guys next week.